the market chooses one theme, AI, right? That's the big theme. What, what do you need for, for AI? You need data centers, you need energy, you need electricity. And the one thing that the market hasn't rotated in yet, which is going to come with electric vehicles as Tesla breaks out, is going to be battery storage technology. You can generate all the electricity you want, but you're not going to build, you're not going to get to efficiency without these batteries, right? Battery technology or energy storage uh, infrastructure to actually store that energy to some degree, right? Um, it, there's just not enough energy prices are going to soar if that's the case. So you need battery technology right now. Number one, I'm looking at, well, Tesla's number one. I mean, Tesla's already ripping. This is a, you know, a, a canary in the coal mine. Tesla's starting to rip, starting to break out of a gigantic, I mean, Tesla's going to rip. I don't even want to say it. Tesla looks like it does, like it did way back here in 2019, right? This is what made my career. What got me started is this Tesla rip. It's been consolidating for three years. So this is going to be disgusting, right? It's going to be a nasty breakout, but I'm not really today. We're focused on these small caps because they are, you know, Tesla's the tidal wave or, you know, in general, energy generation, power generation and um, battery storage. This is the tidal wave. So you're going to get smaller fish. Just get caught up in this, right? The market's going to focus on these battery technologies, these energy storage technologies, it, they really haven't got a whole lot of headlines yet. So keep your eye on Fluence Energy. They're the second largest um, energy storage technology. Again, we're not going to go deep into the weeds. That's going to be for something different. JP Morgan just increased their price target on Fluence Energy to about nine. It's going to overshoot. This is a 1.7 billion market cap. Okay. And like I said before, uh, they're second only to Tesla as far as the battery storage technology. And this has a lot of scale. I believe one of their expertise, they have, a, they're really good in, uh, I'm going to make a video about them, but efficiency of scale, they're really great at being efficient as a scale. And we're not, this is not fundamental analysis today, but I want to put these on your watch. Let's do some, you know, research yourself. Look at the momentum though. Not only has it already recovered from this big dip after selling off all time highs are around 38, right? Came all the way down to $3.35. And now we're starting to rip. We formed a triangular pattern or actually a, a flag pattern here, which has got, got me really interested. We have a lot of good technicals because not only is the MACD crossing over on the daily, barely starting to rise, right? That gives us our uh, moving average momentum. This is our trend momentum. The trend has now turned positive. All this was trash, 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 right? Boom, we hit this bottom. Now the MACD crosses over. RSI starting to spring on the daily we want to see the we we don't get bearish on a daily rsi we get bearish on a weekly oversold i mean overbought rsi we're not even there yet right so we just started to break out today was a big move all driven by this nuclear fed cut rate this is the most bullish macro backdrop by the way that i've ever seen the only we'll talk about the risks later so fluence energy starting to rip starting to break out keep your eye on this again like i said this is a 1.7 billion market cap i think it can move to 10. we're looking at a 5x here I think in 2026 at some point, I think we can have a sharp rally for sure. That might be a month long into like 14, 15. But I think ultimately we're going to be heading for $50 a share uh, for this stock. I think we're heading to the 50s. Uh, let's go back to that weekly. The weekly looks good. We're also, you know, we're also rising momentum on the weekly. But I think we're heading for 50 if my instincts are right that we're going to get a rotation what do we go from we went from semiconductors in 2023 we rotated into ai software we rotated into nuclear power da, da, da. now we're going to start rotating into battery technology to capture those electricity that electricity generation right uh so and that's just to reduce the cost of energy you have to reduce the cost of these massive hyper hyperscalers spending hundreds of billions on data centers how do you say you got to say, you know, you, if costs go up for the consumer, it's not going to be great because the Fed might not hike rates, but the bond market is going to start tightening. So I think this is necessary, right? Uh, the real break ain't going to come up till here. Once we break out, I think it definitely explodes much higher. What are we looking at in the short term? We're probably looking at a move to 1415, maybe over the next month or two, if this really does break and take out, uh, take out these highs. Ultimately, you know, Ultimately, like I said, we're we're looking at a much bigger move, possibly to 80 bucks. This is a small cap. These things can move. You've seen Oklo. Oklo is up 1,500% in one year. Why wouldn't this be able to go up 200, 300%? Okay. 
So keep your eyes there. Plus they have good fundamentals. All right. Next uh, small cap that I'm looking at, probably the most beautiful chart that I've seen so far, MicroVast, another battery technology. They're slightly different. This is even smaller, 1.17 billion in market cap. Okay. You can see it obviously has a nice trend to the upside. Just started to break. Uh, we pointed this out on our Discord about, man, for a while now, for a couple of months. So yeah, started to squeeze here, then really started to lift. I mean, look at this. Look at this trend break, just beautiful trend break. And, you know, we have a lot more room to go. We're, we're headed for all-time highs around five-ish. And I think it breaks a little higher. Let's see what it did last time. Last time, it moved up to our 1.618. So if we, you know, if we kind of just match that, what are we looking for here? We're looking for a move to around seven bucks, maybe $7, right? In the short term. Now, if we get a macro push, a real macro push or a real narrative into this, you know, battery technology, I think it runs to 10, easily runs to 10, right? We're looking for the narrative here. Technicals look great. It's accelerating. It's pushing higher. We'll go to the weekly chart. Uh, looks pretty good. I like the price action though. The price action is nice. Don't look at these all-time highs. It's already at all-time highs. If we look at market cap, we're not going to get into that. So I'm looking for a move to about seven and then possibly a move to about 10 or 15. If the narrative starts to accelerate into the uh, end of the year, a lot of battered stocks are starting to recover. Now that you got fed rate cuts, you got Trump just unleashing fiscal liquidity. I mean, there's so much macro stuff. We're going to save that for later. That's bullish right now. Right. We're focused on these names. Next, we got Enovix. They have a special battery technology, right? Now, this thing, if it breaks, it's starting to finally hold higher in the middle here, right? If this start, if this breaks out, this is nasty. I mean, this is this is probably going to move to, I want to say it moves to about 40 pretty quickly. If it breaks, we'll be a little more realistic and look at that previous high. And we'll say that it moved, yeah, about 40, right? So I'm looking for a move to 40. By the end of the year, if it catches, you know, is it how big is the market cap? Because that's going to make a big difference. It's about two billion. So they probably need to deliver on their earnings. They need to deliver on progress. But my uh, my my expectation is that Tesla is going to really bring up these battery technologies because there's going to be a lot of focus on it. Uh, since you need to you need to store power. You need a way to store power. This has been a big narrative that hasn't really caught any wind yet, and I think we're going to get a rotation into that. So. Keep your eye on Enovix. And then next we have, these are solid state batteries. So QuantumScape is one of the leading uh, solid state battery technologies. So solid state makes it more efficient. If it does make more progress, that's why it just booms. I mean, this thing, this thing is a monster. Um, where's our measurement at? When it moves, it moves because solid state is like another iteration of battery technology. We don't really have solid state. It jumped 250% in a matter of, what do we, in, from June to July, it jumped 250%. So if we're headed for a next move, a next leg higher here, I mean, who knows how high this can go. Market cap is a little bigger. We're looking at 7.6 billion. If they do hit this market though, it's going to be trading in the around 50, probably 50 billion. I th well, this would be more, I think it's going to be trading in the 20 billion. So a two and a half X from here um, could be bigger than that. So executive share. Da, da, da. So we're looking at quantum scape. How big could this recent move go? We're looking at a 20, $22 a move, a share. I'm sorry. So we have a lot of momentum in these small uh, battery technologies. I really wanted to highlight, again, Fluence Energy, right? Microvast, MVST, and Novix, quantum scape. Okay. These, these have a lot of momentum. Who knows when they catch fire? They're starting to. I'm watching the technicals. I think we are getting a rotation a clear rotation, but once we really start to catch fire, it's going to be, you know, disgusting. Cooler technology that, you know, who knows how this company is doing. It's a very, this is a nano cap stock. Well, it was a nano cap. It's a, it's not, well, is it still nano? Micro, it's a micro cap, right? This is one of the micro caps that can really move. We've been watching this for a couple of years now. We saw the move back in February, 2024, jumped about 400%. In about a week, about a week. No, I'm sorry. It, it did it about a month. Then we had a second move, a thousand percent. This was a nasty move. I actually got shaken out early and missed most of it. I traded some of it, but I missed it. This thing can move when it gets liquidity. What do they do? Thermo 
They work with NASA. Okay. They have very, they, they're basically, they come and they do night diagnostics for battery companies. So it's going to be a subscription based and they make sure the batteries don't overheat. Okay. One of the leaders in battery technology. So I'm keeping my eye on the small cap theme battery technologies.